Now let us take a look at Chongqing High Sec 4 Prelim 2021 Paper 1 Question 6. The circle C1 has an equation x squared minus 6x plus y squared plus 10y equals to 66. Are the x-axis and y-axis tangents to C1? Explain your answer. Okay, so I've drawn a tiny circle here. So let's see um, where does tangent, happen, uh, tangent of circle will happen. Okay, based on this circle, we have this position. Okay, this, this, and this one. Okay, so I'm going to draw it in red. So if I were to put center of circle over here, this point will be at the north position, south, east, and west of center of the circle, correct? Okay, so step one, we are going to find out where is the center of this circle and how long is the radius of the circle, okay? Let's do step one. I'm going to do a complete square based on this two terms, okay? So, I always like to draw this one first. So divide by 2, you'll get 3 here. Square this number. Okay, so go on to the next 2 here. Positive 10 divided by 2. Square this number. Okay, so next. We're going to move numbers to the right hand side. Okay, 66 plus 25 plus 9, you'll give you 100. Okay, I'm going to rewrite the pattern again. Okay, so I'm going to write down two information I have from here. First, center of circle. Okay, second information, radius. All right? So, using this information, which is this point over here, I can find out this four points value, okay? So, let's see how we can find that. So, what happened is, it's up to you, okay? So, let's say um, I'm going to fix this 95 value, okay? I'm going to move x coordinate, okay? Based on radius 10, I'm going to take 3 minus 10, I'll get 97, okay? 3 plus 10, we'll get 13. Alright, so this one should be a left on the right hand side. So it's going to be a west point and east point, okay? So if we're going to label here, this one will be 13, 95, and this one will be 97, 95. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing. Now I'm going to retain this value 3, okay? So I'm going to move the point uh, with a value of 10, 95 minus 10. 15, 95 plus 10 will give you 5, okay? So this one will be the south. This one is the north point, okay? So I'm going to label up here. So we have this point here. And this point down here. Okay? So what you notice that they want to check whether x and x axis and y axis are the tangent. So notice all these four points does not fall on the axis, right? So we can conclude that these points are not on x-axis or y-axis, okay? I'm going to tell you another way you can look at it, okay? I'm going to draw it more accurately on a um, Cartesian coordinate, okay? I'm going to show you later, okay? So one of uh, the idea is you can check these four points, okay, and, and notice they are not on the axis, okay, so we can make a conclusion now. Um, yeah. Are there a tangent? No, okay. The answer is no. This is the explanation here. So, um, what if I, I'm going to get x axis and y axis as a tangent, okay? So, let's place this circle in a more accurate diagram where I'm going to place the center, 395, let's say over here. Okay, let's say this is the center of circle, right? So in order for you to get this x-axis as a tangent of this circle with center of there, so 
the circle should ends around here, correct? So this circle must have a radius of, so let's see this coordinate, okay? 395. So in order for, for this line to be a tangent, this radius here needs to be 5, okay? For x axis to be the tangent. So for y axis to be the tangent over here, this radius actually needs to be 3, okay? So this is the second way of looking at the question. Now, let's just make a conclusion based on this one. So look at the x-coordinate of the circle. This is 3. And we're going to just take a modulus of it, okay? Comparing to the radius of the circle, okay? So radius is 10, not 3. So, okay? Based on this one, if they are equal, then y-axis can be the tangent. Since this coordinate 3 is not equal to the radial circle, therefore, we can conclude that y-axis is not a tangent to the circle, okay? I have no place to write, okay? Just complete the sentence. And comparing the y-coordinate, so same thing, I'm going to use a modulus of it, okay? And it's not equal to the radius, okay? If the radius is 5, then this line, which is x-axis, will be a tangent. And since now, it is not equal, so x-axis is not a tangent of the circle. Sorry, it's not. Alright, so you can see, actually, this one, we are basically using the same uh, pointers, okay? So to check the axis, for this one is to use west and east point, which is this two, okay, to see if fall on the y-axis. So this one are proving y-axis is not a tangent. Do the circle. And this one is proving y-axis is not a tangent to the circle. To be more specific, okay? So just now I was doing a general conclusion because I've checked all four points and nothing is on the axis. Okay? Right. Now let's take a look at question number two. Does the point 294 lie inside, on, or outside of C1? Show you're working clearly. Okay, so I've written down the point. Okay, let me just label it as P. And we're going to compare the distance to the center of circle, okay? So we're going to do a distance formula. Okay, notice the center here is always an addition because it's actually Pythagoras, okay? Now, let's do a calculation over here, huh? you will get the distance as square root 2, okay? So now you compare this distance to radius 10, we'll notice that you can type calculator, okay? If you're not so sure of the value, but of course you see 2, this one is very obvious really, okay? So it's definitely less than 10, right? So we know that distance of C to P is less than radius of circle, okay? Then you can answer this question, you will be Therefore, lying inside of C1. Okay, so question 2 is quite straightforward. Just going to do a distance formula and compare it with radius of circle. Okay, now let's take a look at the next part. A second circle C2 is the reflection of C1 on the y-axis. Find the equation of C2. Okay. So this question, last one, is actually very short, so I'll have enough space over here. I'm going to just draw a small tiny thing for you to know, okay, how do we reflect the circle, okay? So what's the important point is actually the center here, okay? So let's say I have a point, 3, negative 5, okay? So you can notice where is the y-axis. The y-axis is somewhere here, right? Because it's 0, this is 3, okay? So what happens if you reflect the center? It will go here. Okay, so from 3, it reflected to 
a negative 3. So you notice that this y value doesn't change. Okay, so I'm going to put it in red so you know that well, this one, this line here is y axis. When you reflect something on this axis, what changes is the x coordinate. So look here. This thing changed, right? Then something very simple is that the radius doesn't change. So you just gotta rewrite it again. Okay, so we're gonna change this value. So we're gonna x plus three. Okay. Oh sorry, this is y value. Y value stays the same. And radius stays the same. So we have 10 square as well. So last line, I'm gonna just write it nicely. equals 100 okay so that's conclusion for question number three this is the equation for circle c2